G'day, I'm Rena from Rena Lee Creations and I'm going to show you how to turn these dirty locks into these beautiful clean locks. Now, you would have, would have had to have pulled them out of your fleece and lined them all up. I used to do it in a laundry bag until I learned this amazing method from Mary at Kamaj Fibre. Uh, she uses chul, but I really like this plastic fly screen. So lay your locks out, not too thick. You don't want them to, because you need to have a lot of water around your fibre to wash it correctly. So I just close it into this with some little clips. Very quickly on the end as well, on both ends. And then we're going to put it into some hot water to soak for a minute. I'm going to rush it, so I'm going to put it into the hot water and I'm going to give it a good squidge. I really love this method. So just into hot water, it doesn't have to be any soap in it at the moment. We're just going to soak out as much dirt as we can. So you should be able to see the dirt coming out. I like to use hot water. Some people soak in cold, but I really like hot water because I want my core wool to be crunchy and dry and unconditioned. And once you've done that, into your dirty, you can use a little bit of soap. So I've just got some eco-friendly soap here. Unfortunately, you can't really see inside there with this plastic fly screen. That's the only trouble between that and the chul. The white chul is wonderful for seeing through. But I'll rush it up and get it as clean as possible. Try not to do too much rubbing because you can felt it in by rubbing there. And then into our clean water and we're going to just rinse that all off now. And then I'm going to bring it out here. Take our clips off. Now you could dry them in here if you want. Or you can take them out and hang them over the line and dry them in little tendrils and you can see how now that would brush out towards the end if you want to you can give it another little rinse and I would use this method mo mostly for your finer fibers 